Hello, everyone. My name is Anna McDonald. I'm the director of TRIO programs here at Avila University. And hi, everyone. My name is Anissa Martinez, and I'm the director with Student Support Services at Avila University. Thanks for coming to our virtual talk. <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Student Support Services, which is a program that we run. So let me get this. Oh, wait, I got to share the screen first. <laughs> we're not used to this yet. Yep, we're learning. Um, is it working? Yep. Okay. So again, we're going to talk about Student Support Services. We often refer to it as SSS. Um, it is a federal grant through the U.S. Department of Education, which means that it is um, completely free for you to participate in if you meet our eligibility. Okay. We are under the umbrella of TRIO. Um, so if you hear us refer to TRIO, it's just the umbrella term for SSS. So like Anna said, um, we kind of call our name or call ourselves either TRIO or Student Support Services. Our students do the same, um, but they are essentially one of the same things. Uh, so our TRIO programs, again, federally funded grants that offer students additional support. So in addition to all of the things that Avila has to offer, we are here as well. And so our whole goal is to support undergraduate students to graduation and we do that through kind of three different objectives so our persistence rates for our students we hope that from one year to the next they are still enrolled at Avila through good academic standing so maintaining a 2.0 GPA or above hope it's above and then by graduation rates so we're hoping that a good number of our participate participants will graduate um, from Avila keep moving our picture around. Um, so who's eligible to be in SSS? There's two ways to be eligible. One is you are considered first gen. Um, and by our definition, that means that the parent or guardian who you, the student, spends the majority of your time with does not have a bachelor's degree. So if they have an associate's degree or they went to college for three years but didn't actually get the bachelor's, um, then you are eligible for our program. The other one is through being Pell Grant, uh, receiving the Pell Grant, which is a federal grant you would see on your FAFSA or on your financial aid award letter. Um, you can be both or one or the other, but we will say if you are unsure, we encourage you to apply. The application is very short, very easy. Apply, we'll process it, and we'll let you know if you're eligible or not. And if you are not, then we will make sure that we connect you with the, the resources on campus who can help you with the areas that you've identified you want assistance in. And Anna made a really good point. Um, because we're an optional program and additional support, we are completely application-based. So if you are interested, um, we ask that you complete an application and we'll go over that at the end of the presentation. Um, but some of the things that SSS can offer to you um, for our first year students specifically is a bridge to college program, um, full time staff advisors, tutoring, cultural visits, peer coaches, free courses, living learning community, grant aid workshops, grad school visits. We'll go into detail of what these things consist of uh, throughout this presentation. Right. So why do students want to join SSS? One of the big reasons is the free course that we offer in the summer. Sometimes it's one course, sometimes it's two, maybe even three courses. Um, typically, the free courses uh, standard, we will have English 111, um, which is your basic English class that all students have to take. And then college algebra is usually offered as well. Um, on top of that, we offer what we call an IS course. All students have to take a certain number of IS courses uh, so we offer that. We've done trips to, we've done a food and culture class. Um, one of our classes had a travel component and students actually went to Canada for a few days. And again, this is completely free. Students don't pay tuition or any associated cost with it. We cover that. Uh, we also offer social activities. These are led by our current TRIO students. Um, We've had anything from like little craft parties in our office space to going to haunted houses. Um, and I don't want to get into cultural events just yet. So that's all I'm going to say right there. 
But kind of why uh, parents would like uh, students to join SSS, our free tutoring program. So Avila has a tutoring program that is open to all students, but kind of where we fit in is offering tutoring for courses that are not offered. And so students would just have to let our academic coordinator know that they're interested in tutoring for a course and we can pair them up with either a peer tutor or a professional tutor. And then we also offer uh, professional tutoring for the NCLEX and some of our um, graduate uh, testing. So the NCLEX is for any of our future nursing students. And then we offer peer coaches, which are mentors that meet with our students at least twice a semester. And they typically meet with our incoming first year students and then any student who is maybe not doing so well academically to kind of get them the resources um, and assistance they need to kind of turn grades around. Uh, more on why students like to join uh, the cultural events. Again, these are completely free. We cover admission costs, transportation, any anything that we would need to cover to get there. Um, we've got, gone to Chiefs games, Royals games, various sporting events, plays, the symphony. Uh, we did have paintball and top golf scheduled for, I think, April, and we had to obviously reschedule those, uh, but they will be rescheduled. So we like to have fun. So having fun and building community is really important to us. Uh, we also offer grant aid. Um, this has some restrictions to who we can give it to. It's uh, for first and second year students that are Pell eligible. Um, we only give it out about once a year, but it can range anywhere from 650 to a few thousand. Uh, but you do have to uh, apply for that in addition to being in our program and be active. So again, reasons why parents want you to join our living learning community. Uh, it is a group of about 15 students who live on the same uh, residence hall floor. And so it kind of moves around depending on the deal we have with housing. And so uh, what the discount is kind of varies. Sometimes it is having your own room, but paying the price as if you had a roommate or living in a room and it has an actual discount to it. Um, <clears throat> this goes by really fast, but in addition to some of our already asked requirements of you all, um, these students have a couple of additional ones. So we had a volunteer experience this semester, um, involvement in alumni mentorship, um, and then workshops. So we offer workshops in four different areas, academic skills, financial literacy, career services, and self-care because college can be hard. Um, so we typically offer at least one workshop in those four categories a month um, to kind of help you get through college. So if it's note taking, how to kind of deal with student loans if you're new to taking those out, how to write scholarship essays, kind of all things that can help you be as successful as possible. Mm -hmm. And my favorite self-care that I have got to witness or participate in is definitely pet therapy, having the dogs and cats come to campus. That was definitely a fun, fun time. Um, so here's just a few things that students have said. Again, let me move so you can see our lovely student. Uh, I'm not going to read it to you, um, but these are some direct quotes or experiences from our students. But the big takeaway is, is our students, their community, they rely on each other. They come in the office. They talk to us about anything and everything that's going on. Uh, we have a two lab spaces. One's kind of a conference room setup where students like to come and work and another is a computer lab setup. Um, again, they like to come and work, but the computer lab, what's nice about it is it is free printing for our students, which is a definite perk that our students like to um, take advantage of and we encourage students to take advantage of it. Okay, so I think the biggest draw for you all right now is joining us for our summer bridge program. And this is a time for you all to arrive onto campus early. So typically what we have done in the past is have you all move in um, about three to four days early to campus. We take part in kind of programs to get you familiarized with campus, um, your advisors, where your classes will be. And then also to build a group of peers who you already know. So other SSS participants, we do fun stuff like escape rooms, scavenger hunts, um, and go throughout kind of the Kansas City area to get you familiar with where you'll be at for the next four years. Uh, we don't have dates set yet, but that will be coming um, out in the very near future. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so 
if you have any questions, uh, normally, you know, in, uh, if we were at a store physically, we would be around to answer questions and how to hand out applications and whatnot. Uh, but we don't have that opportunity now. Uh, so we are accessible. Um, why we're not physically right there to talk to you, we are virtually here to talk to you. So our email is inspired to achieve all one word, um, at avila.edu, and that email will go directly to both of us, and one of us will respond as quickly as we can. Uh, we do encourage you to apply because we are application-based. So let me see how I start a new share. Uh, so I'm going to show you where our application is. And now I can't find it. That's okay. I'll let you find it and kind of share. If you don't know if you are eligible or not, I would say apply. Submit an application. We can always check kind of the financial eligibility on our end. Um, and then just kind of worst case would be that we would say, unfortunately, we can't accept you, but maybe these would be good groups to join um, that are already on campus. Uh, so I got here, you see, if you go to the A on the Avila page and then um, under student services is TRIO and right over here on the right, you'll see student support services, forms and applications. Um, and you have two ways to do it. One is online. You can just type it all in and cl click submit. Um, and the other one is the downloadable. You can download the application, fill it out and either mail it or email it back to us. But you have those two options and we encourage you to apply because we have open spots and we look forward to providing services to you as soon as we can. Yes, and don't hesitate to ask questions if you have them. We are here to answer those for you. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.